gotten as strong as a tree on a bow. I am grateful for your kindness. There's a tree on a boat. I am grateful for your kindness. as a tree on a boat. I am grateful for your kindness. Cotton is strong as a tree on a boat. I am grateful for your kindness. Rutan Branch, I am no more. I am king once again. You have done me a great service. Indeed, the birds of the air sing to me of how you have been of great service to many others. Please, take this ancient horn as a symbol of my full gratitude. It is a key to your final challenge. Time to step down, Karak. The ride's over. We trolls never abandon a friend in their time of need. A friend? What can I say? You kind of grew on me. Like a tick on a dog. <laughs> I know the feeling. Ready? So we finally meet you and I. And you have brought? A friend. Well, I hope he is as adept a pupil as you. For it is time for your final lesson! I am free! Yes, you are truly free! No time for high-minded musing. That portal of ours could collapse any time. So what do you say to us getting out of here sometime soon? Practical to the bitter end, eh? Okay, we're out of here. We are all now free of the plague! Forever! To freedom! Oh my... I never dreamed that my failing eyes would ever see the abomination the ancient scrolls spoke of. Long ago... The Unicorn Council used to consist of four most powerful members, whose horns were so magical that when they touched their horns in unison to the exalted portal, it opened 
onto a vortex of supreme magic. Mere days before the plague struck, the four council members were found slain, with their horns severed from their heads, and the exalted portal had disappeared. On the very day the plague began to ravage the lands, our exalted portal reappeared in a blast of black smoke. But the horns were never seen again until now. My good, venerable sovereign, do the ancient scrolls make any mention of a powerful sorcerer amongst our people at the time? Perhaps even more powerful than the council members themselves? Why, yes. The scrolls do make note of a dark unicorn, a rebellious sorcerer who often challenged the council. Nothing more is said of him once the plague began, nor any mention of what became of him. I know what became of him, for he has tormented me in visions. He exists in the vortex of supreme magic. He is responsible for the plague. I knew it! The trolls were right! The unicorns are responsible! Not all the unicorns. Only one rebellious sorcerer. Well, yes, you are right. But still, one unicorn is responsible. And one unicorn will set things right. I alone will face off against the Dark Unicorn in the Vortex. It is the only way to ensure that we are rid of the plague, once and for all. You are wise beyond your years. Come back once you have found all four horns. Well, this horn is a start. Now go forth and find the other three. As you have all four horns, let us adjourn to the portal chamber.
good to be my old self again. I can't tell you how painful it is to be prisoner of the plague. Long ago, the gnomes, trolls, elves, and nymphs each had their own beautiful land. And then the plague came twisting their lands into horrific mutations of their former glory. The wise among the races fled to the land of the unicorns, the only land left undefiled by the plague. Those who could not outrun the wave of evil mutated into monsters. Many blessings upon you, Prism, for today you have come of age. And with this day, hope springs anew in all peoples as you bear the wings and markings of those who will restore the lands. Hope does not spring so merrily from the trolls. This plague was brought on eons ago by the unicorns, and now you're sending one of your own out to wreak more havoc. The unicorns were never responsible for the plague. You were too young to know the truth. You place too much trust in your foolish fairy tales. One man's foolishness is another man's wisdom. If it please the council, I offer to accompany this youngster on her quest. I might be of some assistance. And where two tread, the truth walks with them. Good Master Carrick, we value the goodwill of your people. Accompany Prism on the quest with our blessings. But before you set out, oh, I see we must help you address some issue. My good Lady Prism, as undignified as it might be, I'm afraid that you must let Karak ride upon your back. What? But with him on my back, I won't be able to fly. You will be able to hover. That will have to do. Let her fly all she likes. These feet of mine were meant to stay on the ground. My good Master Karak, I'm afraid the lumbering tramp of a troll's stride is no match for a unicorn's swift gait. Speed is needed. Now you must ride or be left behind. All right. All right. But she better not throw me. I'll do you one even better. I'll keep you from falling off. Oh, sure. Until the plague starts twisting you into some kind of dark unicorn, and then you'll buck me straight to the sky. You need not worry about that. Prism's protective amulet will shield you from both the plague and most attacks. Most attacks? If the shield is weakened, some of the more magical attacks might get through. But do not fear. If your life energy or the amulet's power becomes too weak, the amulet will expend its last bit of power and transport you back here. How comforting. Indeed it is. And it is high time we ran you through your paces. Come now, let us adjourn to the training area.
myself again. Thank you, yes, thank you. The waters are pure once again, and I am queen of a goodly realm. You have done me a great kindness, and the waters sing to me of many you have helped. You are worthy of favor, so take this ancient horn. It will serve you well. You are halfway there. Only two more horns remain to be found. Impressive. You have three horns. Only one more remains to be discovered. Thank you for restoring me. I am once more a wizard of stone and masonry. It feels good to be my old self again. Thank you for restoring me. I am once more a wizard of stone and masonry. It feels good to be my old self again. Thank you for restoring me. I am once more a wizard of stone and masonry. It feels good to be my old self again.
thank you for restoring me. I am once more a wizard of stone and masonry. It feels good to be my old self again. Who are you? Prism. I am the Chosen One. Well, Chosen One, turn back from your quest while you still have the power to choose. The more you turn back the plague, the more our minds will be brought together. You again? Prism, was it? I pity you, for I see I am to be your teacher. I can learn nothing from you! You are arrogant and prideful! I took that path long before you. Indeed, there is much I can teach you, for I too reached beyond my power. In my fall, I and I alone unleashed the plague upon the world. Back yet again? You are a faithful child. Well then, let your lessons begin. You may ask me one question. Who are you? Once. I was the noblest amongst the noble, the highest sorcerer amongst my people. But now I am a vessel of evil, a slave to the power I so foolishly thought I could control. I am what you, my child, will become if you continue your quest. It warms my heart to see you again, my child. The sight of you leaves me cold. You, a noble unicorn, brought the plague upon the world. How could you? Evil was not my intention. I was trying to bring harmony to all the peoples. Before the plague, there was a great chaos. Gnomes fought with trolls. Elves fought with nymphs. Only the unicorns were at peace with all. Back to despise me. No one can despise me more than I despise myself. Tell me, how were you trying to bring about harmony? I was so sure that if only the other races could be raised up to the nobility of the unicorns, harmony would triumph. So I searched for a spell to add the noble horn to all the races. Back yet again, still freeing the land from the plague I see. What's your question this time? You were looking for a spell to add the horn to all the races. What went wrong? I sought the magic of transformation, and in my great arrogance and pride, I traveled dark roads of power that were beyond my abilities to master. And yet when I found the spell, I still attempted to cast it. Madness. My magic corrupted vast expanses of land and many of the people who dwelt there. These visits of yours, my child, grow tedious. When you attempted the spell to add the horn, you unwittingly released the plague, and you became a slave to its power. Yes, it is my master, as it will become your master when I defeat you. You have cleansed all the lands for now, but the plague will return. Unless I restore you... I am beyond redemption! For the evil in me is too great for your power. This is your final warning, my child. Do not enter my vortex and face me in battle, for you will lose and become another dark unicorn. 